Hello folks, uh, I'm working today on some small enhancements as I'm preparing to install a new component in the car. So let me quickly show you what it's all about. So I am trying to clean up the area underneath the battery box to install AC compressor. Here is the area where where the AC compressor is going to be installed and um, uh, just yesterday I had uh, here the uh, hydraulic uh, line hose uh, from the steering rack coming coming through this area and this would be totally in the way of, um, of the compressor so I had to relocate this line and uh, that's the, uh, the old ugly hydraulic hose from the power steering rack. So I have replaced this hose with this custom made line I put together based on the AN fittings. It's a high pressure and high temperature Teflon line in a uh, stainless steel sleeve. It goes from this output port around here into the steering rack. So it looks much nicer, it takes a lot less space and it's out of way right now. And I have this area free to, to install AC air compressor. So I have to clean up the and attach the wires so basically so here are some details about uh, the steering pump I used the uh, uh, steering pump from uh, Volvo S60 uh, and this is the pump that doesn't have a, a filler cap here it has a port for the hose that basically connects with the filler um, tank um, up there can't really see it but it's trust me it's it's there but you may have noticed that this pump is installed in kind of unusual way uh, more horizontal than vertical certainly it wasn't designed uh, to do this and there are some issues related to it but let me explain quickly um, the the reason why I did that was because I couldn't really find better place for this uh, pump to, to install it because it's kind of tall and uh, I didn't have any area like that to accommodate for this so I decided to experiment a little bit and I knew it would work as long as I can provide uh, <laughs> the lubrication the fluid right so so basically the only danger here is that um, some air may get uh, trapped in in here and will not be escaped because of the port is is quite a bit lower and also uh, I'm not 100% sure where the, the actual pump is taking the oil from in which which part inside of this uh, tank um, so uh, but uh, to overcome this, uh, I basically developed a very simple procedure. This pump is only mounted to this bracket with uh, three small bolts here. And it, it just takes a few minutes for me to take this pump out. And I can lower, lower it down and set up in a vertical position in such a way that this port is facing perfectly up. And this is basically the procedure that I, I do to fill this uh, pump with, uh, uh, trans with uh, steering fluid and prime the pump. So once I fill this uh, uh, tank from above with uh, uh, fluid and uh, make sure that all the air that might have been trapped here will escape through the hose up to the tank up there I run this pump for a few minutes make sure there is no 
additional air being sucked from from the uh, steering rack which may have been trapped there when the system was disconnected then I'm able to locate this pump uh, back in in here in this orientation and it's working perfectly fine I use it like that for a few months now and uh, it's working perfectly no problems at all um, here is actually where the original return line would go on the Volvo but I'm not using it for that purpose in in this system uh, return uh, hose goes directly to the filling tank uh, up there uh, I just plugged it with a little plug so this is actually very convenient that if I ever have to flush the fluid change it drain I can just uh, remove the plug and drain the fluid before I um, I can uh, put a new one so so anyways this uh, I'm pretty happy with this uh, line uh, looks looks pretty good and free up some space for me and I will be ready to start working on the AC compressor here I will make uh, another episode on that so this was a pretty quick update uh, stay tuned more uh, videos are coming and until next time